think you're an animal expert? Think you can name any creature? Think again. Around the world, creatures are baffling scientists and intriguing the world. From rare creatures only just recently rediscovered to fish that eat and replace other fish tongues. Here are 15 weird animals you should know about. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. Coyote Chubacabra? Humans like to create magical places and beasts in our minds. Or are we merely replicating them? Creativity requires inspiration, so it's no wonder some animals out there have been turning some heads in more ways than one. From fear to strange to amazement to old age, old curiosity. Sometimes our imaginations can get the better of us. That isn't to say anything on this list isn't real, but all have their fair share of believers and skeptics alike. Take this coyote chupacabra thing. To be completely honest with you, this thing is bizarre. It looks like something you might find running around the fantasy world of Pandora from the film Avatar, which is all anyone can really do. It hasn't been sighted again for quite some time. The photo was taken from behind the creature, just east of Toledo Bend, Louisiana, by some terrified hikers. They snapped a quick photo and sent it to the wildlife department, who identified the beast as a demodectic hyena, or mangy hyena. A hyena's mange can discolor to red when they're malnourished or lack certain nutrients, and mites attack and create the discolor. It might look cool, but don't you go near it. It's highly contagious, and mites can just as quickly jump to other animals or hyenas as it prowls its hunting grounds or finds itself nuzzled in with the rest of the pack. The mangy hyenas are often exiled from the pack to stop the spread of the mites. Number 14. The Bony-Eared Ass Fish That's its official name. How in the world does a fish gain such an odd name? Some creatures' scientific names are almost unintelligible. This one stands as an oddity and has a story to match. To be fair, the name, if considering it as a description, is entirely inaccurate. I mean, nothing is resembling the description, so where did it come from? We could break down the different meanings of the same word and go into Latin to break it down even further, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to imagine that the guy who named this thought it would be funny or saw something entirely different than we did. It's not even a fish, it's an eel. I admit, I can see the bony-like structure of its body, its spikes looking like a defense to be reckoned with. The fish is a deep dweller that can be found swimming about the oceans at depths between 2,000 and 5,000 feet. Perhaps the name was to bring attention to this newly discovered species. I mean, who isn't going to look it up with a name like that to see what it's all about? Maybe the person who found it all together was an excellent marketer? The bony appearance is a common theme of deep dwellers. Perhaps in the blackest depths of the unexplored ocean, a boneyard exists where these creatures have mastered their camouflage. Number 13. Sunda Kolugo the Sunda Kalugo is a marvelous creature with equally as astonishing an ability. In all honesty, little was known about these elusive animals in the scientific community. Notably, their communication was of extreme interest. It was just in 2018 where they made a marvelous discovery about this creature that they can communicate over thousands of miles by the use of ultrasound. The funniest part of the whole thing is it was discovered entirely by accident. A scientific stroll through the woods, so to speak. The two scientists were trying to pick up bat sounds. Suddenly, they received a burst of unknown transmission. The creature making the noise was indeed a discovery, but not of a new species, of a unique ability. The best part? The scientists were standing right next to the source and had no idea. At first, the Kalugo was just chilling in the tree, just a few feet above, and they'd have never heard a thing if they didn't have the instruments to pick it up. To say the least, it was startling to the scientists. That's when the discovery they had landed upon clicked on in their heads. Not all are convinced of its validity. However, with some claiming to have studied the four audible sounds of Kalugo with no such results, as the science world war wages on, just let us know the results when it's all said and done. Number 12. The Tongue-Eating Louse 
Evolution is a funny thing. Another excellent way to describe evolution is the survival of the fittest. Life will do what it needs to do to survive or die trying. No matter how cruel and disgusting that method might be, continuation is survival in the animal kingdom by any means necessary. The tongue-eating louse is one such critter. This isopod infiltrates the fish through its lungs and attaches to its tongue. It from there devours the organ entirely. But that's not all. Not only does it eat the organ, but it also nestles down and substitutes itself as the fish's tongue. This is no joke. When the fish gets hungry, it eats. And what it can't eat immediately it starts to get gnawed on by its parasitic tongue. This is truly something out of Lovecraftian tale. What's next? The fish starts flying and we have a bunch of fish whose tongue jumps out of us like from the movie Alien? Man, nature can be terrifying. I tell you that. But let's all be thankful that this is something we don't have to deal with in modern times. I feel like our world might be a little different if it were the case, though I can't say humans haven't equally terrified me either. Number 11. Irrawaddy Dolphin So check this out. There are rivers where dolphins reside, three in particular. If that wasn't as big a surprise to you as it was to me, then I need to get my game up on the animal knowledge. Good thing the Supreme is here to help me along with that, but sad to say the Irrawaddy is on the extremely endangered list with only a few hundred left in the world. There is hope. Just the past year, they've shown the first sign of a rise in numbers, hopefully reversing years of a downward trend. But these magnificent creatures aren't out of danger yet. Dolphins and other river animals rely on certain life to be able to flow through rivers for sustenance. Just as sure as a stone cast in the water is to ripple, the chain of events that follows has nearly eradicated the species. From massive bombings during World War II to massive fishing expeditions, this ancient aquatic species has been nearly expunged from our planet forever. Where humans are great at destroying things, we are equally, if not better, at building and repairing. It's never too late, people. We can see the era of our past and use it to propel ourselves forward into the future. Number 10. The Fossa Madagascar is a land of magical creatures. There are dancing lemurs, color-changing chameleons, the awesome eye-eye, great baobab trees, and last but not least, the ferocious Fossa. Let me tell you, this thing is powerful. It's Madagascar's largest carnivorous mammal. Truth be told, scientists aren't sure where to place this feline-like animal, so they created an entirely new category based on it. It reigns king. If you've never heard of the fossa, you're not alone. In fact, the fossa has been mostly overlooked or overshadowed by its favorite meal of all, the lemur. Besides the fact that the fossa has many of the same characteristics of the lemur, for some reason the lemur continues to captivate people around the world. Meanwhile, the fossa lives in the dark. Maybe lemurs are his favorite food for this reason. We're talking some serious jealousy here, folks. Many characteristics make the fossa wildly unique and worth exploration. Arboreal hunting skills, strange mating habits where the smaller females dominate the process, mating that can last hours, and vocalizations that can be considered, let's just say, wild. Number 9. The Garenic The Garenic is a fascinating looking creature. With ears that are larger than its head and body so toothpick thin it can hide behind a tree like a cartoon character, the Garenic has many distinguishing characteristics. Garenic literally means a giraffe neck in Somali. This description is accurate, though hard to imagine without visual aid. The Garenic can grow to about 140 to 160 centimeters in size and from 30 to 60 pounds in weight. The animal is nearing the endangered list, with years of decline worrying wildlife foundations across the world. They are hunted by many wild animals, and humans are still poaching them. These creatures are remarkable. Though they resemble the antelope, they don't graze like them. They have the long neck so they can stand tall and eat from branches. It helps allow them to see predators without lowering their guard. Also, like the giraffe, it doesn't need to drink water. The water contained in the vegetation it consumes is enough to keep these little guys alive and kicking all day. Number 8. Pink Fairy Armadillo Anything with the word fairy conjures thoughts of fantasy and anything but real. 
Well, this fairy armadillo is here to help change that in what is probably the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. The pink fairy armadillo finds its home beneath the ground and rarely comes to the surface. They live in tunnels and burrows, sporting a similar armor plating along the back and strong digging toes as its larger, more well-known cousin, the fairy armadillo boasts one element that elevates its cuteness to the next level. It's so fluffy. I mean, leave it to nature to throw this walking ball of contradiction at us, armored like a tank, fluffy as a bunny. They're also exponentially rare. There are only a few videos of the mystical creature on the internet because there are only a few sightings ever recorded on video. Number 7. Sea Pigs Sea pigs have nothing to do, or resemblance, with their land-based name counterpart. They don't even look the same, other than maybe a tubular midsection. Sea pigs are related to sea cucumber. If you know anything about the sea cucumber, they're a translucent, syndrilical creature that floats in the warm oceans of the tropics and Caribbean. They are fat, they are colorful, they're uh, squishy? I don't know. Some people see a resemblance. People see what they want to see sometimes. Sea pigs, sea cucumber with appendages. It's a love-hate relationship most of the time. Number 6. Mexican Mole Lizard This creature is bizarre. It looks more like a worm or snake, but in actuality, it is a legless lizard. I know how strange it sounds. Though it has the title of legless, the characteristic is rather misleading. It has legs, two front and two behind, it's what's between that makes this creature so interesting. It can grow as long as 9.4 inches from head to end of tail. That's quite a gap between front legs and its hind legs. Up close, its face looks like a lizard. It can coil like a snake and seems to slither as it moves. What's more, the mole in the name comes from a life of digging tunnels and living beneath the ground. Thanks to the strength of its digging claws, the mole lizard is an excellent tunnel excavator. After it's carved out an extensive tunnel system, it lies beneath the ground and waits. As insects scurry about the surface, the lizard follows beneath. When it finds the opportunity is right, it strikes, bursting from the ground, grabbing the insect, and retreating back into the tangled web of its tunnel system. Number 5. Red Handfish Red handfish are rare. Not only are they rare, but they're also critically endangered. Named because of the hand-shaped fin, red handfish crawl about the ocean floor in search of food and safety. There are only about 100 remaining. Before the footage and discovery of the colony you see in the video, there were only a known 20 to 40 remaining. The development brings hope to marine biologists. With such few known in existence, it's the rarest fish known to man. The discovery of the new colony and the new colors they exhibit give hope that the species is diversifying and spreading even if scientists have yet to find the colonies. For now, they remain on the critically endangered list. In a few years, scientists hope to see numerous more colonies that will allow them to remove the fish from the critically endangered list for good. There's a ways to go to make the dream a reality, but scientists are confident in the direction the curve is taken. Number 4. Marabou Stork, the Undertaker Bird To be honest, these birds are sort of disgusting. They need to eat more than 700 grams of food a day. These birds have been known to feed an adult flamingo to give you a sense of their character. What's more, Marabou Storks love fire. They just stand in front of an advancing, raging forest fire, snatching animals attempting to escape the devastation. Talk about a predatory animal, the stork's bathroom habits make it all the more disgusting. This stork defecates on himself. It does so to regulate its body temperature in the intense heat of flames while it soars the skies for prey. It's about what you would expect from a bird that preys on animals when they're at their weakest. The marabou stork has some efficient and powerful capabilities. They're also massive, growing to heights of 1.5 meters with a 2.8 meter wingspan. That's a massive bird. Like the vulture appearance and predatory habits, the marabou stork can be found consuming nearly anything, from elephant carcasses to human trash. The marabou stork holds no qualms and does what it needs to do and does it well. Number 3. Lowland Streaked Tenric 
this might be the strangest animal I've ever had the pleasure of discovering. This bumblebee hedgehog bird looking creature is a one of a kind and it's turning heads at the Chester Zoo. The animal is still on display today. My favorite description of the critter is freaky, squeaky and streaky. I feel it's an applicable description. Just take a look at this guy scurrying around. It's certainly like nothing I've ever seen before the making of this video. As I like to say, no matter how well you think you know the planet and life, it likes to throw a surprise at us just to mix things up. The lowland streaked tenric is a perfect example of this. These are rare animals found in Madagascar. If you're lucky enough to have a zoo nearby exhibiting one, get out and see it. There may never again be a chance to check out one in person in your lifetime. Don't squander the opportunity. Number 2. The Star-Nosed Mole This animal looks borderline disgusting, in my opinion, but you be the judge. This blind animal is more than capable than you think. With its, you might have guessed, star-shaped nose, it can feel around the subterranean world with ruthless efficiency. Don't ask anyone how in detail, but the hairless feeling tendrils of its nose can guide it with better accuracy than subterranean creatures with sight. That's actually part of its advantage. It can move with a level of stealth of one that nearly predicts the movement of its prey by the vibrations they make on the surface above. These guys are like the living embodiment of the creatures from Tremors. Please don't grow to that size. 2020 has been rough enough. The star-nosed mole's nose is so sensitive thanks to its 100,000 nerve endings in just its nose. That's not the only thing it uses to navigate the deep, damp tunnels where the mole likes to make his hunting grounds. Imagine being a creature in the dark and having to fend away from a creature with ruthless digging efficiency and that can see through the walls themselves. That is basically what prey of the star-nosed mole have to deal with. Isn't the animal kingdom a fun place to try and empathize with? Haunting, if nothing else. Number 1. The Kawadi Mundi the Kawadi Mundi is dang cute. Don't let these looks fool you. Behind those puppy dog eyes and best looking aesthetics, the Kawadi Mundi is a fierce mammal with a set of chompers that could bite through an arm as easily as a melted stick of butter. Yeah, that easy. But they aren't carnivores, they're omnivores, which means they have a diverse diet of veggies and meat. They can grow up to 68 centimeters in length, which is nothing to scoff at. Whenever cuteness is involved, it seems humans are trying to tame them to become pets. People, these things are not pets. They are wild animals. As much as I'd love to run up to a bear and give it a great big ol', well, bear hug, it doesn't mean that I will, probably because it will devour me in a matter of seconds. Though the Kadimundi won't devour you, it can do some significant damage nonetheless. Let's just let wild be wild. Though, I will admit, every time I go back through and look at the photos and video footage, I too get the urge to make the magnificent creature a household pet. Y'all have that beast master urge, no? Around the world, creatures are dazzling scientists. From rare species popping up their heads from their homes to species that blend the lines from what we understand, creatures can exhibit and surprise us on to what seems like a daily basis. Maybe this is a hint that life is ever-changing, ever-adapting. If we seek to understand our world to the best of ability, we must first learn to understand ourselves. And the creatures, they play a big part in the way the world turns. We may not see the extinction of any more animals in our lifetime. A lofty goal, I know.